This short presentation introduces you to the content of the VLC Morphology and Syntax class. In particular, we will look at the content of the class and its syllabus, provide an overview of the e-educational strategies that are applied, and we will finally list the requirements students have to fulfill in order to get the class credits. Let's look at the class description first. Our morphology and syntax class deals with selected morphological and syntactic aspects of present day English and other languages. It is subdivided into two parts. The goal of the first part of the class is the discussion of the basic morphological concepts that are used to describe and to explain the internal structure of words. We will look at the nature and the analysis of words we will classify morphological operations and processes and we'll discuss the possibilities of manipulating word structure in present day English and beyond. The second part emphasizes all those aspects of English grammar where English is radically different from other languages. For example, the formal and functional properties of English verbs, subject and object selection principles, clause external and internal operations. Thus the approach to syntax is traditional and does not incorporate the views of generative grammar. The e-educational principles that are applied on the virtual linguistics campus and thus to the morphology and syntax class too are well defined. Let's look at an animation to illustrate these principles. In traditional teaching, content delivery and content acquisition are realized in class, where several dozens of students, sometimes even hundreds of students, have to gather at the same time to be entertained by their teacher. In a second phase, in the self-guided phase, students normally work on their own on the basis of additional material, exercises, homework tasks, etc. We flip or invert these two activities and apply the inverted classroom model. Content acquisition is now self-guided, phase one, and it takes place online. The additional in-class phase is dedicated to practicing, rehearsing, discussions and analysis. This means for you as students, prior to each in-class meeting, you must have worked through the online content of the respective unit. Classical or frontal teaching is now just one among many methods. For example, if the online content needs clarification, needs reworking, or if additional information has to be provided. Now, the central teaching method we apply is that of cooperative interaction between instructor and students in class. Now, finally, you want to know what you have to do in order to get the six class credits. Six class credits, as you know, are the equivalent of something like 180 hours workload. Central prerequisite is active participation in our in-class meetings. In addition to this, you have to deliver six ungraded worksheets, two graded worksheets, one analysis project where you can choose from either syntax or morphology, and one final e-exam which has to be written in the computer pool of our university. This class has been taught several times at several universities. Students seem to like it, as you can see from the comment that was delivered in one of our many evaluations of this class by our students.